Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And this week we went to the Goodwill Bins in Sarasota, Florida. Yes, and we made the good decision to go during the week as opposed to the weekend. Yes. Because yes. it's way less busy. We accidentally arrived on a Saturday one week, and when I say accidentally, we <laughs> truly didn't know the day nor the time. And so when we got there, just craziness ensued. But this time, we specifically picked Tuesday since Bear had off. Yes. And wouldn't have off for a while. So, yeah, it was a good day, and we found some fun things. We did. We always sell straight from these videos, so if you see something you're interested in, as soon as possible, send me an email. I do go in order of the received emails. So we'll get right started. I have all the clothing, so we'll do some clothing, do some hard goods, and pass back and forth. All right. The first thing is the Saks Fifth Avenue. Really pretty cashmere, 100% cashmere. Okay. Um, it is a size six. It's a size small, Saks Fifth Avenue, and it. I'd say a cardigan. Yes, and I'm sure I've asked this question before, but what is, um, what's this made of? Cashmere. Cashmere. What is, is that an animal? Yes. That's a type of animal? I believe it's a goat. Oh, so they harvest the, the fur from it or whatever. Exactly. Okay. So this, I would think on eBay, would probably bring maybe $30 to $40. I'll have prices of what we're selling it for, and yes, it will be less because I won't have to photograph it, professionally clean it, steam it, pay eBay fees, etc. We're happy to do that. Is cashmere always like the best kind of sweater you can get or whatever? There's some other premium um, materials, but cashmere is usually up there. Okay. This one is a blue old, nope, nope, it's Gap, size medium. Feel this. Oh, yes. I would so much rather have this than cashmere, right? It's a soft, I'm going to guess it's viscose, but it feels like a brushed, like a warm, cozy, sit by the fire sweater. And it's also prompting our first musical reference of the evening. Give it to me. It's prompted by this shirt. This is a shirt. This shirt looks very much like something you see John Fogarty wear a lot. Yeah. And we know who John Fogarty is. Oh, sure. John the... Fogarty was the lead singer for Creedence Clearwater Revival. I would have guessed that correctly. Okay, good. Yeah. So size medium, I would say it's probably oversized. It's not meant to fit like really close to the body, but super comfortable, very warm feeling. Looks like it's in good shape too. I will be looking for some favorite CCR tunes in my in our comments. Okay. I <laughs> think people have favorite CCR yes, tunes. Yes, I think they do. This is Ann Taylor Loft, which just says Loft. Loft made the decision just to say Loft now. How so, modern is so that? So they're not they're not different divisions now isn't that wasn't there different divisions of that like Ann level Taylor, wise and taylor outlet and taylor loft and taylor loft outlet it's still all the same they just decided to just go with loft for branding okay so this is loft size large off the shoulder on the shoulder it does have a nice bell sleeve cuts about at the elbow area i'm gonna say with some embroidery it's very there's fun a colors. little bit of embroidery, yeah, right, mm -hmm. around the bottom. Now, is this black or is this blue? I'm going to say it's black. I also agree. Yes. Black it is. Want to do one more piece of clothing and okay. move on to something else? Yes, that would be good. Okay. I'm going to do this. This caught my eye. It looks brand new. Really? It yeah. It's not to me. It's got like fuzzies. Oh, over. I was just talking about the vibrant colors. Oh, yeah, the colors are so, are so nice. Yes. This is from, um, it's vintage. I'm guessing it's from a sheep. Oh, yeah. There's a sheep on the so, tag. Yeah. Um, Merida, M E R I D A, from Venezuela. So I'm guessing it's wool or some kind of wool. It's, it's a poncho or a cape in a dark blue with a bright blue face print you think uh yeah i think so yeah a little smiley face at the bottom there or, you know either way yeah mm -hmm. so um it's one size fits all i can do a measurement if you want me to but would this it's, fit you uh, no i don't think so just i mean put it against your body yeah well, it might yes in a kind of a way yeah so i liked it so much 
Um, it does need a little bit of delinting, but past that, it's in excellent condition. Was it this trip or last trip that we found a really tiny lint roller? Last trip. Last trip. I've okay. already sent it to somebody. Okay. <laughs> that reminded me of that when you said it needed delinted. Hmm. Okay. This, let me just take what's inside out. Here's the receipt. Okay. While you're doing that. Okay. We paid $74 for everything. Okay. Um, I was, I was not, I'll, I'll do that last. I was not aware that you had anything like this in there. I picked up a bunch of these old fashioned, I'm sure you can still get them on Amazon. Um, what are these called? Clothes pins. Clothes Mom had those. Yeah. To attach to the tops of people's packages. I thought I could write thank you with a paint pen oh, that'd be fun. Yes. or just like attach it and it would look kind of quaint. So, so you picked like those up for toppers. Of these. Yeah. Oh, you do have a bunch of those yeah, in addition to this. Okay. Obviously, these are just some buttons. Some of the buttons are vintage, and some of them are marked Ralph Lauren. Mm. So the Ralph Lauren metal buttons, um, the enamel ones, will probably bring $10 a button. Okay. And the rest of them are just for my button collection. Okay. <laughs> oh, we well, need a button collection after all. Um, it would be lip balm, but that one doesn't even have a lid. Yeah, that one might be thrown out. So yes. lip balm, these are all open. These are not headed anywhere past me. What I plan to do on these is melt them all together in the microwave and stir them up and put them in one of those two ounce plastic Oh, yeah, so cups. you do it with your finger then. So I can do it with my finger and that way it's disinfected. That's genius, sweetie, seriously. Thank you. I go through lip balm very often. You do. Very dry person. Yeah. So uh, they looked nice. They looked probably two or three dollars a thing and we found a ton of them well that explains why it didn't matter if it had a lid on correct okay and these are obviously that's a shampoo there yep. and this is a body wash again for me okay uh this is a just eye drops eye drops these um did not come from the bins i just took those along that day <laughs> oh those are ours <laughs> these are ours okay yeah are those the ones that are supposed to take the red out yeah do, do, where they do take the red out they do take the red yes. out a lot of times my eye sockets dry out to the point where i have pain i use eye drops all the time and bear likes eye drops when he's especially with allergy season uh, he's yes. rub, rubbing his eyes yes. so we keep <laughs> eye drops around and those really seem to help yes Hi. I even picked up some of the, or one of these the other day. We I didn't did. know what we were doing, if we were still doing with the hats. So we will be doing a background with hats. This is for that one. Um, just a whole bunch of summertime hats. Thread Up has allowed me to collect some of those because when people sign up through my link, thank you for doing that. Yes. I get $10 to use on the Thread Up website. So we've gotten four free hats. So anytime I see a hat that is like this color. I can paint it. I can add ribbon. I picked it up. But didn't we also have hats? We purchased them or something? I've sold those. Oh, okay. Okay, good. <laughs> good, because I know I didn't know what happened to those. Okay, yep. that's why we're still collecting hats. We're yes. not just... I was thinking, mine, we have a pile of hats at home. So no, was, no, we're, okay. we're down to five. All right. All right. Then this hat I liked, it's for sale. It's Talbot's. And the person puffed up the bow so nicely that they clearly took care of this. I love the bow. That, love the romance of the bow. That's a Kentucky Derby-like hat. Or really? Something. I would think, you know. It's 100% woven nylon horsehair. Mm. Trimmed in silk, made in the USA. Perfect to wear to the Kentucky right? Derby horsehair. It's so pretty. Yes. I'm sure it's not reading it, but this piece here is silk. It's such a lovely hat. I couldn't leave it behind. Is is that what this made of silk? Is that the whole hat? The band is silk. Oh, the band is. What's yeah. the hat made of? Do you know? Uh, woven horse hair. Oh, that's what's woven horse. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Then we have two identical hats. Identical, I mean the tag. Okay. What does that one say? Who makes that one? This is made by Duluth Trading. And what size? A large. And what is this one made out of? Uh, made who made it you mean Duluth trading yes size large size large yes so this person clearly donated both of the this. same people yes this is a wool blend so it'd be nice and warm and that one is more oh. of like a mesh cotton shall I try this one on sure of course okay you can. well I didn't I didn't know because <laughs> <laughs> you look very well 
you know, some, cowboy. I, I mean, sometimes we don't, but these are like, they look v v almost sure, new, so sure. they're not gross or anything to put on my head. They, they both are in excellent condition, especially yes. this one. I'm shocked. But Duluth Trading Company is a good brand name. They sell clothing and accessories like hats. And I would expect to get probably 10 to $20 out of those. You want to go on yours or back? Yeah, to I'll go okay. with mine. All right. I found a big beaded piece. I know these are from like the 80s, 90s, but they are back in trend. This is Coat of Azure Evening, size extra large, 100% silk, hand beaded. So I could see this being worn with skinny jeans or even like a pencil skirt. A pencil skirt is just thin? Like yeah. It's, it's very thin? Yeah, but just like skinny jeans. Does it have pockets? No pockets. Darn. Yeah. But just like worn open and slouchy and it just with a v-neck t-shirt. It's a decorative type of thing. Decorative. Yes. The next piece is wool blend. So don't touch this. It is oh, yeah. vintage. It is a wavy knit of red and gray and a yes. darker gray mm -hmm. and it's got some mohair which is why things are sticking up a little bit and it's tony woods new york poly mohair so see how the mohair is yes. very yes. mohairy yes it does have pockets it would keep you really warm in the office it's the perfect little cardigan if you don't mind the itchiness it would also be the perfect uh apparel for someone who owned a dog the shed. Oh yeah, because you would you'd never, never know. see it. <laughs> yeah, you'd never see it. So true. Yeah. Do you want to go back over to your sure. side? There was a little piece of paper that went with this. Oh don't, really? You don't have oh. to look. It is the oh, wait, here it is. R T A L lock vert verta lock. Yeah. And because it includes paper, I thought I would pick it up. It does look really clean. Oh yeah. Some of these because people wear them with you know socks or whatever, mm -hmm. they're really dirty. I didn't look this up. Also, it's heavy. I mean, uh, with yeah, the metal I, in it. It feels it, good. Yeah, it's heavy duty stuff. So. Yeah. And because it had the paper, I'll look it up later and put it on the screen. Can <laughs> I do one more from yours? Sure. Um, yes. I, I, I picked this as a bicycle speedometer kit. Yes. And it's obviously vintage, so anything, anytime anything looks vintage, I pick it up because I know that my girl would. <laughs> and uh, that this, looks brand yeah, new. this particular thing I got to put, yeah, inside, you always open the box too because you never know what is is or is not in the box. And there, this is still in plastic and stuff. That's so. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I'm gonna hold. Oh, this it up. is brand new. You yeah. can tell. I'd like to hold this up to the camera because so up. they can see the numbers. But if, let me get this off first. Look how look how funny it is. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Must be from what yeah. the sixties? Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Now, I I had a, a speedometer on my bicycle, of course. Okay, made of in course. Japan for Radio Shack. Yes. So you know what would my goal be as a kid? Well, me in particular with the speedometer on my bike. What would my to goal? To go fast. How fast of you course. can go? Yes. Yeah. So kid, yes. Really. So I had a speedometer on my and I I would pedal towards the um, house where the chimney was but there's a turn right there so you had to time it like how fast can you go and still make the turn and not smash into the chimney yeah that's awesome yeah. you looked these up none have sold and there was one listed for fifty dollars that exact plus thing. shipping yeah so we bought it we we probably paid I, it's 69 cents a pound so i'm guessing yeah. it's less than a pound we probably paid 50 55 cents so we'll try it sure i'm glad you looked it up though <laughs> yeah well, I knew what a thrill it was for me to have a speedometer, so, you know, yeah. I wanted to share the love. We found that you found this. I found this, but I put it back because I didn't think it's a garment bag. I it thought it is. was. Uh, it's called Mixed Bag Navy Daisy. So it does have um, a hair, but it looks brand new. Yeah, you happen to be directly across from me when I put it back. And you're I like, know, no. I was like, hey, <laughs> get that. I know. We have a Patreon member who travels through trains and different um, other things. So I just- Forms of transportation. Yeah, forms of transportation, thank you. Like cruises and stuff. Oh, yeah. So I thought I'll ask her if she wants this, um, but I thought that might be something fun to send to her. Go back to clothing a little bit. Yeah. We will go through the greens and the blues. Okay. This is an aqua piece, of course. <laughs> 
It is the Boyfriend Fit Old Navy Top. Now, a lot of these items weren't sized. The person cut off the size oh. of all of them. You could just oh. tell they're all about well, the same size. That? People are embarrassed or maybe the you, tag bothered oh, okay. them. There's a whole bunch of reasons. Okay, sure. So I'm going to measure this. I'm going to say right now it's probably an extra large, don't you think? Well, is this something for you? No. Oh, no? Just because um, it's awkward, I have to ask. And it's linen. Oh, yeah, you don't like linen. I, I, I like linen. It's just, and the, even the linen tag has come off. Okay. The next item has a little issue where Goodwill tagged it. There's a little oh, hole, yeah. mm -hmm. Goodwill. But this is the J. Jill Pima boat neck tunic. So it's Pima cotton in a medium. Pima cotton. That's another type of plant. Pima cotton. Is that what you're it's saying? It's a type of cotton. Yeah, type of yeah. cotton. Yeah. And cotton is a plant, so. Yes, okay. yeah, you got it. Yeah. It's a slub knit, um, so high neckline. Honestly, that little thing at the back would never bother me. Yeah, I mean. If it doesn't get sold through here, I'll probably be Plus, you, you have to like stretch that it. material out to even see it. I know. So. This I thought for you, but then I forgot. We had three huge carts. Yes, we Shopping did. Carts. Shopping carts. Shopping carts. So this was at the bottom. I wasn't going to go through the clothing. I figured if you didn't like it, I'll be able to sell it. Okay. <laughs> it is George, which is a Walmart brand. It's a 3XL. Okay. It's a short sleeve. Bear doesn't like green. <laughs> and these flowers are kind of that teal blue green color. Well, the biggest thing I have against it is the material. It is rayon. Rayon yeah. is a breathable, lighter material. But all my clothes are cotton, right? They are cotton. Mm -hmm. But come summer months, if you play outside, I thought maybe, maybe you could keep the one in the back. Because this will breathe as well as cotton. Oh, so you think that would be cooler? I do. I, I, yeah, it just feels like it would cling to me, though. Okay. Done. We will sell it. All right. I appreciate the thought. Sure. No problem. <laughs> I figured that would be enough. Yeah. The next is LuLaRoe. This is a size small. This is their long kind of duster sweater. Okay. Thanks, sweetie. Mm -hmm. It does have pockets. It's a blue heather with a white striation running through it. And it is ribbed. And it's very long. So... I picked this up for here and whatever doesn't sell from here, I will be sending in to ThreadUp. I've been doing that now for a few months and ThreadUp has given me between $2 for a full bag of clothing and $157 for a full bag of clothing. <laughs> so I'm starting to get to know what ThreadUp is taking and overall, I'm still thrilled with it. Sure. Oh yeah, it's great. Yeah, there's a person I follow who I'd highly recommend if you want to get into that kind of thing, sending clothing to thread up. And I'll have her name below. She's Melissa as well. And it's Vandy's Closet. Hmm. This is, I think that's that same. This is um, Lou and Gray, which is Ann Taylor Loft's line. You can hold it there. Okay. This is another one that does not have a size. But, so I'm guessing it's the same person. So this is probably meant to be oversized, and I'm going to say it's like an extra large. Again, I will absolutely be measuring it. But do you see the little dip it has in the front? Yes, I do. And, and then the back is well, lower. Yeah, it has a little funky thing here at the very bottom of mm -hmm. it. Uh, is but that what you mean by the dip in the front? Yeah, you it's got like that yeah. swoosh. It's like a little pocket. Yeah. <laughs> like a kangaroo pocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a pocket, but I like it. You no, can do this easily where, with leggings. And yeah. So bummed. I got this piece and there was a matching scarf and the scarf had a stain. I went back and forth. I was like, should I get the scarf? And I put the scarf back. And now I wonder if I should have bought the scarf. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is a brand B-R-I-S-A-S, -S, size large. It's really soft. I'm guessing this is cotton. Yeah, it's a special kind of cotton. You think it's like a Modell or something? <laughs> I don't know. It's I don't care for this cotton spandex. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like this either. Because of the spandex. You're I guess. Saying? Yes. It is just, super smooth though. It fits cool. really soft. Um, I liked it because of the colors. I, it might be new with tags. Like there's still some kind of tag attached, but that could have been a consignment shop. 
But it does look like it, it's excellent condition. Yes. I liked it. Mm-hmm. It's fun. Yeah. And when I go to the bins, I try to buy pieces for all different sizes, all different styles, a wide as wide a variety as I can get um, without getting too many like stained or flawed pieces for our audience. Because I know we're doing, we're holding it up, hoping people will buy yeah, it straight from here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's you a go. Good idea. Okay. These go together, obviously, because they're matching parts. Uh, this is some sort of purse-ish, you know, I would say to carry your makeup and stuff in these. You can see what's in there, but. You can see what's in yeah. there. So you would take this on a train okay. or a plane. Okay. And this folds all in, probably like this, and ties. So when you go through customs, let's say you're going okay. to a different country for uh -huh. some reason, okay. you hold it like this. I see. Then when you get to the hotel, you can put this on the door. Oh, okay, very good, yes. And then you can get into different makeups and see things. You can open up and use different pockets in them. Like this one has a card pocket. Looks like uh, a spy or something should own that because of all the... Right, pockets. very useful. Yeah. Now it does have a little bit of discoloration, yeah. not bad. I will clean the insides of these. Mm -hmm. I think these will clean up fine. Um, but we'll, well be selling can, it as can, is. Can, you can actually wash that whole thing, can you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Barrett Bradley can be thrown into the water right. easily. Okay. Now, is there a name for this particular size of thing? There is. Is it? Okay. Yes. The print and the size have okay. names. Okay. So this one has some wear to the straps. You can tell there's some fading. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that is, but that usually happens. People, you know, touch. Oh, yes. We'll throw this one into the washer. All you have to do is take out the piece of cardboard on the bottom. Okay. I feel the cardboard. I'm not going to take it. Can I help somehow? There's also a pill. Unknown pill in there. Yeah, well, we'll be toss disposing that. of that. So anyway, you just get the cardboard out. Yeah. We'll, we'll toss that in. Okay. But even, I mean, even though this has a little bit of wear or damage, this will be used for sure. years and years and years. Oh, I think that'll clean up very nice. Right? Very nicely, yeah. Yeah. Hmm? What else do you got? I was looking for the things I need to complete that are not in here. But that's okay. We've we'll got can, like eight bags. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Here we have another Vera Bradley wallet-like deal. Is that what you, This is a Vera Bradley um, their design. So this is one of their first pieces to come out. This is a, a vintage Vera Bradley. So you could do a few things. You could put um, a book in here, but it would have to be about that same size. When you say this is one of... Vera Bradley's early thing, like when they when they first started. Mm -hmm. How long ago was that, approximately? Maybe just, twenty five years ago. Okay, but they started like small, just making things 90s, like this and whatever. Nineties, yeah. Okay. The and the designs and the flowers were a little bit different. Okay. So you might be able to be, put a book in that and have this like a book cover. Mm -hmm. That's probably what this yes, is that, for that's, bookmark. Right. That's a bookmark. You could also put tissues in there at this point. You could just use it for something else. But yeah. it's in really good shape for how old it is. Well, Vera Bradley's thing too is the flower, flower leaf Mostly prints, flowers, right? yeah. Okay. This was just a piece of fabric. I thought it was fun and vintage. I will probably use it for um, just to cut strips to use as bows. Oh, okay. Like for packaging. Yes. Isn't that very fun though? That is fun. Mm -hmm. I liked the red, white, and blue. This is a fun <laughs> purse too. I was trying to find another the other Vera Beth Bradley. Vintage. Oh, there is. Oh, I never seen a. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have guessed that because this is like darker than yes. usually, right? Yep. So Vera Bradley. I don't. I don't know. This does have some sort of significance. Oh, those are little. I don't know what those are. So I'm going to say this. Yeah. What is this? So there's all of these tiny little pockets. No, not pockets. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, the, Maybe yeah. rollers you can put in there. Like two <laughs> I mean, rollers? I know it's not like a hammer holder, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, you know I mean? I'm you not sure have, of what. You couldn't would put be in anything there. in there and have to have an end that wouldn't go through. Well, because it's inside. It okay. Go through. Okay, so if it's inside. Yes, I at think least rollers. Keep them in place. I would think. Must if be you rollers. Had, yes. Yeah. 
It's a really odd thing, isn't it? It really <laughs> is. I mean, and then this side has nothing. That's just completely open. Okay. I loved the print because even though it's clearly flowers, yes. if you go on the bottom, you can see this a little bit more. Oh. It's a little bit like um, Asian characters oh, yes. and like trees, Asian trees mm -hmm. and people on the river. Yeah. Um, yes. So it has some kind of like a scenic print. I oh, loved this. Is that an early thing from them it is. too? It absolutely is. You know, okay, they were making smaller things in the beginning, mm -hmm. I assume. Uh, this is some some type of vintage purse. It is. And I and I seriously recognize this this ball thing. Yeah. As a kid, I used to play with this thing all the time. Did your mom have purse? Yeah, like that? I had a had a thing like that. Yep. Very fun closure, huh? Mm hmm. So this is made by the brand Z-I-B-A, Ziba. Mm -hmm. And when I Googled that, not too many purses came up, but they were all kind of this style. This really needs to go off there. There we go, that just made it better. There <laughs> is some wear. I'm gonna sell it as is. I would think if you would soak this, um, it does have some cardboard underneath that you can't slip out, but do a light soaking with like an OxyClean or even Dawn dish detergent, that might come out. But it's so pretty, it has that Victorian thing happening. Just just right? a soap on a brush might get some of that. Yeah, like bobs, this part bobs, here. Bobs yeah. You can't you can't wash that. I mean you can spot clean it. Yeah, spot clean it yes. or, or put it in if you didn't matter. Mm -hmm. But it's really pretty. The inside's in pretty good shape. There's a nice wide opening. So if you're looking for something, I like when there's wide openings. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I'm very nice. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'm just just one thing, I guess. Okay. And that would be a, a Christmas stocking. Mm -hmm. I find it odd that you would pick up a Christmas stocking. Any particular reason? It is Pottery Barn. Oh, okay. So Pottery Bar Barn has some pretty collectible stockings. Okay. And we have sold Pottery, Bonds, Pottery Barn stockings for up to $40 a piece. As long as they're not monogrammed or embroidered. And this one's not. You're saying we have done that, mm -hmm. okay? I what, have done okay, that. What, no, but I meant, I meant, yeah. yes. Um, what are they new? Uh, what were they retail for? Uh, I don't know. Each one is differently. This okay. one has a little bit of um, glitter, like an embroidered glitter, okay. but it's right. not a whole bunch of stuff. So this might have retailed for let's say forty or fifty dollars. Okay, I might even get ten dollars out of it, and I'd be fine with that. Mm-hmm. And people want that because they recognize that as a pottery barn. Pottery barn. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's all for me. We have to switch some stuff up. Okay. Well, let me do a few things with me and then you oh. can do yours. Okay. Good. Like it. Good. We have another Old Navy. This again had the size cut off of it. So it's the bigger size, whatever that size is. This color is awesome. I mean, it's just so piercing yeah what color do you think that is you know what it it's red but it has a tinge of orange to it it's like it's it, orange this orange. is what i would call it tour red because randy dietrich's a friend of mine oops i can say his name mm -hmm. has a charger a 71 ch charger that's about this color and it's tour red hmm. that's the name of it so if you want to know what color this is <laughs> go to randy's house All right check out his hemi charger and this the is definitely an orange red Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, buttons about halfway down, pullover style, two chest pockets. It looks in very good shape as well. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. This is Soma. I love Soma nightgowns. This one has dogs on it, and I'm sure it's meant to be more of a Christmassy thing, but the dogs, some of them have like winter hats. None of them have Santa hats on, but more mm -hmm. like striped scarves and mm -hmm. like look how cute those they're, are they're implying that it might be a little cold in their general vicinity yes mm -hmm. so cute in size medium mm -hmm. love the cotton feel that cotton you would wear that uh, again i i'm not saying i would i just don't that's not my preferred cotton not your preferred cotton. i was like what is the difference between that and the, what i'm wearing this is cotton example? spandex modal oh it's modal let's see there you go yeah this is just a very basic cotton yeah Okay, next couple pieces and then we'll move over to you. You look like you have a lot more. No, no, I have another bag on the floor. Yeah. 
This is Anthropology. This is Pilcro and the Water Press. They always stitch out their label. That's the name of the company? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, but it's for Anthropology. Only Anthropology sells it. Okay. Size large. It's white. Now, when I say that, it's overall an off-white. And I don't know if it's meant to be off-white. Yeah, I don't, it, I don't think it's meant to be off-white. I think it's so just a little... So you could probably little, bleach it yes. up, but it's, it's evenly discolored slightly or well, something. Well, the material is just a little funky, too. You know. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed, supposed to be bright white, though. I think it is. You I do. Yes, yes. White. I think it just needs a little brightening because it's not off white. It's almost like a really pale gray with a little bit of yellow or something. Yes. So anyway. But it's been very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no um, runs or holes or anything in it. Okay. Then I found some vintage pieces. This is a cropped Hawaii shirt from 1986. It says right there. Oh, I was Nin say. No, 89. 89. Breezin Up is the name of it, and it does have the single stitch. Okay. So your t-shirts yes. always have double. Right. Right. Well, if you find the single stitch, that's what you want to look for for the vintage. This might bring on <laughs> eBay, okay. I don't know, twenty to thirty dollars. I'll sell it cheaper here, of course. Now we have we have to back up a little bit with yeah. the single stitch. You're looking for the single stitch. Yes. That is. That lets you know it's vintage. Something, yes. Or something, okay. And, and again, it's another one of those little things that you know that are amazing. How do you know that? How do you just have I'm to sure know? I've heard it before. <laughs> All right. This is pretty cool. Another single stitch. This is a football shirt. Yes. The Colts versus Miami Dolphins. Oh, they're being, that's not a nice, <laughs> exactly. We'll put it back on here. Yeah. But are they still on ABC? Is that still the channel for football? I thought it was like... F I have no idea. We don't follow football or any sporting At all. Somebody events. will have to let us know what station runs football games. I know it's probably over at this point. Oh, the Super Bowl's over. Yeah, because I know the Super Bowl's Yeah, over. it was on my birthday or close yes. by. Yeah, but very nice condition. I'm going to assume this was probably from the early 90s. Um, just based yeah. on what little I know, but I'd have to Google it. Mm -hmm. It does feel almost new. It does. It looks almost new. Right? Yes. Okay, you go. All right. <laughs> this is the <gasps> story for the feather. The conclusion to that story, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I guess those are all together. Right? Yeah, there's a box somewhere for this. An oh, ornament okay. box. Okay. Do you know where that is? Oh, hermit box. Yes. There you go. There we go. There's something, there's something in there. I know. Okay. So the ornaments that came out of this ornament box were these really pretty pink and kind of like peachy. Peachy, yes. Um, feather bird ornaments and they're vintage. Actually, some are more peachy. This is more pink. I know. Some yeah. of them are just discolored, I think. Yeah. There were supposed to be four in here, but there were actually five. <laughs> I was pretty excited the about bonus, that, my uh, extra ornament. Yeah. Um, does it say what year this was from? Made in the USA. I'm going to say this is like 80s probably, right? Oh, but it's older than that. Really? Yeah. I thought I had stuff like this growing up. Mm, I'm thinking that's in the 70s there. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So I'll have oh. to look those up. And even if they're worth 10 or $15, they're so stinking cute. They are cute. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These were separate, I guess? Yes. This okay. is from the Container Store. Okay. One of my favorite stores, the <laughs> Container Store. I've only been there once, but anything you can organize. This this was retailing for twenty uh, for $10. And it's you, just a heavy acrylic separator. You got this separator. to sell? Yeah. To sell. No, I'll probably send it to one of our Patreon box subscribers. She okay. likes organization. Oh, great. Yes. You could do makeup brushes. You yeah. could do um, any kind of... if you're having a party you could do like you know those like lifesaver um sticks like penny sticks or something they're candy sticks boy i'm sorry you are really losing me they're like that. candy canes but just a stick form 
I think I know what you mean, but, but they're, all, they're, all, they're all one piece, though, right? They're mm. just like sticks. They're pretzel rod shaped. You do okay. pretzel rods in this. Okay, pretzel rod. Anyway. Well, we, could, like, we have it on the desk for pens for and pens. pencils. For pens, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is checkers. <laughs> wow. You must be up to open These, the whole wheel. No, you don't open. You pull out. Okay. There's little drawers you pull out. Okay. I, I don't want to break anything. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, um, yes, okay. there we go. Yeah. Okay. So these were given to different military. Oh, so they could play checkers. So they could play checkers. Um, and it's a traveling checker set. And I'll have to check if all the checkers are in there. But what do we have? Nine of those. Oh, <laughs> checking. And ten of those. So I would say that we're really close. Yeah, that should probably be full, right? I have no idea. I would imagine. How'd you get that back? Yeah, there? well, it was, that's what I'm saying. It was one side was off a little bit. And it's marked NS. USN. USN. So was it the, the Navy? Yep, with that logo, it's the, it's the anchor with the rip. Cool. These mm -hmm. look like they're going for about 10 bucks. Okay. I assume these are all one unit yes. as well. So these are pink zebra sprinkles in different flavors this one's vanilla tobacco that one is sparkling sangria french vanilla okay i have to try this one okay oh you're gonna try it sure. i was going to message the the woman's name is on here it's an independent seller message her and see if she could track down the date to see if they were still good well i gotta tell you they're not they're not tasting the best okay are they <laughs> wax do you think they say yes. sprinkles yeah, I'm, I'm even. But are wondering. they food or are they candles? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to decide. I can't believe you just did that. Well, I figured it's only a little dot. If it was vanilla, you know what I mean? Like sometimes they yeah. have those cooked things. Oh, I think this is <clears throat> candle wax. Yeah. You know, I am the guy who mistaked soap for a piece of candy one time, too, yeah. so. Yeah, I don't think those are meant to be consumed. These are candle wax. Oh my goodness, this will be so much fun. There is uh, another two somewhere in there. But I bet you these were expensive. And can we just wonder how many people now are being so amused by the fact that I just ate candle wax? <laughs> <laughs> Such a good sport. Well, now I won't have to, to message her. I, I would assume these kind of go together too, right? Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> well. Ah, here we go. That's so sweet. That's good. You want to do these two together? Sure. Okay. These are both metal um, belts. That's the word I was looking for, metal belts. This is like a belly dancer kind of belt here. Yeah, uh, I guess so, sure. Yeah. Neither one has any kind of markings, but they were together with a whole bunch of other metal belts that a woman grabbed them out of my hand. Woman. What? Yeah. Oh, you mean, she, you, mean you didn't get, as you were getting them to the cart, yeah. she took them out of your hand. Yeah. Well, as I was collecting them, I yeah. was like doing yeah. like one of those and yeah. one of those, yeah. and she like came in and swiped them all and picked them all up. I was like, oh, sometimes it happens at the bins. Oh, goodness. Yeah, people were still a little. I, I try. Yeah, I try to stay out of the immediate mix of that. Cause it some, wasn't even a new bin. I mean, no. I, but I'm just saying, when it gets. Oh yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, understood. Yeah. Mine is an Ipsy bag. Do you have an Ipsy bag? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, that is. And I'm guessing this is as well. Yes. Okay. So Ipsy bags are given out in their monthly subscription. And I don't know, there's no real real resale value, but I thought they were not newer-ish, newer. And I could put things in them around the house. Well, sure. No, or I, I could put jewelry in them for shipping. Obviously, there's some branding. Is this a, a premier bag, Ipsy? Or no, something? it's a makeup subscription where they send you like five oh. to six little items. Okay, so they're a company that sends the subscriptions. Yes. Okay. Yep. Right. 
I have no idea what that is for. Obviously, the, oh, well, not obviously, but there is the Velcro, the whole way across. The, obviously, it'd be wrapped around something in Velcro, but I don't know what. Yeah, I'm going to use it to, um, again, just wrap jewelry. I think we were saying we could put this around like a duffel bag for your shoulder. Oh, yes. That's but I'll probably that is just for. put a necklace inside. For a strap. What else you got over there? Well, uh, I saw these in one of the bins and I didn't realize what they were for until I later found these. And they're the handle for them that clips these pieces in to clean things with. So it's a sponge. Uh, a little bit more to the sponge because there's a Brillo like uh pad on the bottom so it's a sponge with a pad <laughs> we will be keeping these yes you can talk about that because you told me the story this was sent out from the fab pit fun people i don't maybe a year or two ago it is a necklace and bracelet and earring travel keeper i usually sell them for about five dollars they are a great piece if you bring a lot of jewelry with you in a very streamlined way you can bring them and it is H by Halston. I loved this. I loved this so much. It's made in Italy. Dyed Tuscan lamb fur original Italian. Should I try it on or have you try it on? <laughs> Well, I think you're I have a the wrong way, first of all, don't you? <laughs> Do you feel very... Uh, I feel it's not as big, as big as it needs to be. It feels a little small in my head. Hmm. You're a good sport. So I'll have to look these okay. up. And, um, oh, look how deep these are. This is all of this is the fur so that's got to be like three inches of fur that's we that's real fur we think from lamb yes it said oh okay from lamb it's lamb's <laughs> fur okay all right a bag full of bags <laughs> we will buy anything we can absolutely use and this is one of them i've been selling a ton of jewelry and this will be great rather than have those huge press and seals I can slip a necklace into one of these, earrings, etc. How did you even know that that's what those were? I didn't. I oh, just assumed. You took a gamble. Yeah. Okay. Little fresh popcorn bags. That'll probably go to my niece, Tima. Some embroidered handkerchiefs. There was a set by Mariposa, made in Peru. There are four red ones. And then a bonus pink one. The Nerf dog is going to my brother-in-law and sister's dogs, Widget and Rocky. They are red-nosed. What kind of dogs are those? I'll write it on the screen. They destroy yeah. things, but they're so sweet. They're very, yeah, they're not. But they destroy their toys, is what <laughs> I should say. So it'll be interesting since this is so well made. I'm sure it was like $20 originally, just to see what they do with it. Another belt. This one is a little bit less, um, it's lighter. It doesn't have as much metal. I don't really know how to wear it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Some shabby chic, which of course I can't use. I might sell these locally. They are candlesticks and they have the real glass can candelabra pieces. Somebody might have just stuck those there, but they match perfectly. Each have the three candelabra pieces. Really pretty. I might try to get $15, $20 out of those online. I found a bunch of these and thought for styling the pictures would be fun, but then people for Patreon um, boxes in March or April, just depending on when Easter falls, I'll send some goodies in these. You're doing such a great job. <laughs> well, thanks. This is a Paul Revere reproduction. It is um, plated with silver, but not sterling silver through and through. I thought it would look just pretty with a few sprigs of branches. 
on somebody's desk and I know somebody who's going to love that. Does that say that it was just uh, not, it was plated? Does it say on the thing? Yeah, it does. Okay. It's all marked. This is for the candle wax. <laughs> oh, you mean the stuff that I ate? Yeah. Earlier. Okay. Then we have a whole bunch of vintage Santas. I'm going to guess they're supposed to be put on um, top of a cupcake, like right in the middle of a cupcake. Okay. But there's then, a whole bunch of them. And then you put a candle in them, right? Yeah, maybe okay. you put a candle, maybe not. Yeah. Misty likes Santas, so I'll save them for Misty. Okay. Well, we're going to have to take a brief pause to okay. move some stuff. But is this actually one of the items, though? Yes. Right? We'll we did pay for up. this. It was brand new. Ulta? Ulta. Um, I'm sure it was like free with purchase, but I thought, why not? A lot of our Patreon people ask us to include reusable bags, and this will go to one of them. And, and the same is true for this one. Mm -hmm. This one is from Whole Foods. I thought it was really pretty. So we'll also use this one to send to somebody. So you just want to go somewhere. Okay. The next category we have are cats, and we only have two cat items. One is a tea, um, not tea, candle <laughs> something. Candle holder. Yeah, candle holder, mm -hmm. and the other is a photo holder. We have a lot of people that love cats, and I thought those were rather cute. Then we have, this is for earrings. Oh, yes. Portable earring cases. Amy, I'm looking at you. Amy just purchased a lot of earrings, but you can also separate rings and necklaces and just a jewelry travel holder. Really nice one. I know this is a ridiculous question, but what does like an average woman have, or, or I guess it's male or female, what average person have in, as a number of earrings, for example? Probably 10 to 15 to 20, I would think. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Some more travel cases. I'll put something in them. Then we get over to the, um, this is a Ray-Ban case, glasses. Who makes this one? This one is Eddie Bauer. We tried to pick up glasses that I saw a marking or had a good look to them. These are Hart, Schaefer, Schaefner, and Marks, and they say the style number. So those were worth picking up. These were very cool. Nimbus, made in Italy by Killer Loop. Again, the made in Italy made me pick them up, and the green glitter. With a name like Killer Loop. Come right? On. Yes. These are Christian Dior. Can't go wrong with a Christian Dior that's, pair of glasses. That's a person, right? It is a person. And he's still alive, this person? I do not know that. Okay. The next is Tommy Bahama. Very famous um, glasses. Then we have Ray-Ban, made in Italy. So we actually have the matching Ray-Ban. Oh, Ray -Ban. Yes. Wow. And Goodwill wanted $10 just for the box. See, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Which is why they made it here. Then we bought some glasses thinking Bear's um, reading glasses. He needs a very low level of reading glasses. So I think we picked these up for you. Yeah, so we can just like leave more glasses in more locations places. where I can find them. These were probably inspired by the 60s, 70s. They do have a little bit of a marking on them. I'll have to figure out what that says. But that kind of look is reminiscent of like... You know I can totally rock 80s. those. Oh sure, I'm sure you could. <laughs> and we have one, two, three, four pairs of glasses for Bear. These actually aren't too bad. I mean, they're not too strong, I guess I should say. We're moving on yeah, because right. our battery yes. is low. Um, <laughs> here are all of the other chapsticks. Again, I will melt those all down. We did find a really pretty shell that says Florida, and it's probably 1980s-ish, you think? I suppose. I liked the colors. Is it supposed to be an ashtray? <laughs> yes. Is it? Yes, I believe that's what it is, yes. I mean, you know what most people would use things like that for now is their keys or something. Yeah, put it by the front door, yes. put your keys in it. Mm -hmm. I also found a silver plated, so not real silver, but it is marked Lace Love, Love Lace, 
love lace um, I'll send that to somebody who collects that kind of thing and go ahead Mike and Allie you want to tell us all about this I don't know anything about that do I <laughs> This is um, a very, very high end of bathroom products. Mike and Allie, you can Google. And this is meant to just hold tissues. And it retailed for $220. And they're currently on sale for $98. So it is a solid brass with like a really pretty design to yeah, it. Yeah, I can tell it's heavy, yes. Yeah. And if your name just happens to be Mike and Allie, your winner's right there. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a Scotty dog, but clearly that's their logo. And then you just put tissues on top of it. So what, what do they make besides this? All holder? sorts of anything for the bathroom. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Bathroom sets. Okay. Then we found, which we will personally be using, um, body lotions, body wash, moisturizing lotion, conditioner, shampoo, and big sexy hair. Hairspray? Hairspray. <laughs> Say that for my mom. Some of these we will put in smaller containers and hand out to the homeless, um, especially things that Bear has an adverse reaction to the scent. <laughs> By adverse, I just don't like it very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Or whatever. Uh -huh. But that was that whole table. Do you mm -hmm. want to pause it and come back with another table? Sure. The next bag is also hard goods. So we'll show you a few things we've already showed you. We have two more of these pink sprinkles. Do not eat those. Yeah, they're candle wax. The next item is brand new, Diana and Kelly. This is designed in Sarasota, Florida, which wow. is very close to us. Sure is. And it's meant to be a game day bag because it has a beautiful like metal-ish, metal football. Yes with cork so that's really nice can i help yeah. needle points always do well this one retailed for 17.99 and is betsy and bj art designs of 1979 so it includes everything you do need to do for this piece uh, last item and then we'll clear the table i have a hard time passing up a power tab as much as i use them but i did actually put one back this you time. did so. but you got the good one <laughs> so hopefully ah. yeah right okay let's go ahead and pause this and we'll be back my last and probably the best of what we got for today okay i didn't realize that yeah i need to do a little bit of cleaning this is in an authentic kate spade tote bag I recognize the name. Kate Spade. Wow. So it does need a little bit of cleanup. The cleanup on the handles will be easy. That's just truly like a scrape away thing. It's like super amazing that somebody didn't get this bag before it got to the bin, right? Right. It's so weird to me. Yeah. And then it opens up. Right now I just have it empty. But even the inside is an okay shape. Yes. Looks and there's extra straps. There's a ton mm -hmm. of different pockets. They look really well made in addition yeah. to the name. You know what I mean? I know the name something, but. So I would think this would have retailed for probably three or four hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. So even if we can get in this condition 30 bucks. Sure. That could be somebody's library bag where they're just going to bring books to the library because it's so sturdy. Sure, sure. I, I, I see that happening a lot these days. People going, going to the <laughs> library and bringing back a load of books. The next bag is, I saw this from afar. I thought this was one of those free bags. No big deal. It's not. It is St. John. Okay. Full St. John. So I still thought like maybe this was given away if you bought so much but i don't think it is the more i look at it it's marked saint john in several spots yes the zippers are really nicely done they're like a two-tone zipper uh -huh. the inside is is pretty clean it could use wiped out yes but um this is done really nicely i don't know it's is, got some wear, but it's it's in pretty good shape. 
Uh, Jill St. John handbags mostly? Is, is that St. John. St. John handbag mostly? No, they oh. do clothing. Oh, okay. Clothing, accessories, shoes. Okay. Probably some home goods at this point, but I was really excited about that. I haven't looked it up to price it. It's beautiful. Thanks, sweetheart. Okay, moving on to clothing in the orange and pink palette. So this is a first one. It's the Old Navy size large dress. Really pretty floral dress, keyhole back line. Just an easy piece you slip on in the summer, put a little ballet flat or Birkenstock, you're good to go. Right? Sure. I, I wouldn't even be opposed to that fabric, and I'm guessing it's some kind of rayon or polyester. It's something that we're generally not accustomed to, you or I, either one. But Rayon. Mm -hmm. I'd be okay with that. Okay. Yeah. Then we have a little scarf. I like picking up little scarves like this to wrap something in. Don't you? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. I can include a little scarf around somebody's purchase. It just makes a better presentation. Yes. Well, I, I haven't really sold anything recently that would, you know, need a scarf wrapping, mm -hmm. but... Open that up. Okay. We found both of these, same size, same style. One has a little bit more wear. Mine's a size small. Bears is a size small. Now this is beach wear mostly. It uh, is. Okay. Not really. People usually okay. wear. There, there's so so many people who wear it. Yours okay. is the better one. Okay. So somebody obviously bought that to replace this one. Okay. I could see this like you have to do some manual char chores in the yard on a country farm, little denim things, walking the boardwalk. These probably retail for like fifty or sixty dollars though. Amazing. <laughs> Linen pure jill size medium petite. So this is probably like a tank top, a tunic where you would wear leggings underneath and maybe just a cardigan if you get cold. I love this kind of stuff. This is my kind of stuff. It does have pockets. Wow, that is something. Oh, nice deep pockets too. <laughs> Even better. Bear was saying something you put on didn't have very deep pockets. Uh, what those was that? shorts, those new shorts. New that shorts you got, I you bought got you. The, You're like, look at these pockets. I'm like, <laughs> right? They were. Yes, they were I literally. understand the pocket problem. Yeah. This is another linen piece. I've never heard of this. Beulah? Is it Beulah? B E U L A H. Beulah. I A. It's B E U L A H. Okay, Beulah. Yeah. But it has that like almost tie dyed kind of look. Yes. I don't know what to call that. Highs uh, and lows of some sort. Okay. What do you think of that? Oh, you know, if you want to call it that, I'll stick Lace, with you. Lace, thick straps. You can count on my support. Pockets. But then look at the front. It kind of like opens toward the front. Do you yes, see it? Yes, yes. This here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it does the same thing in the back. It's a little bit higher, lower in the back, higher in the front. This is just an adorable piece. And if this was like Prada, it would be $2,000. But it's not. But the quality is really good on it. This I threw in the cart last. We weren't looking up every single piece. In fact, I, I didn't look up any of the clothing because we had been there for about two hours and I was shot. So LL Bean, this is their ShamWow. I, that can't be it. It is <laughs> C-H-A-M-O-I-S, cloth shirt. A chamois. Chamois? Yes, I think I, I was spelled again. C H A M O I S. Chamois. Yes. Okay. We'll pretend that's what that is if it <laughs> isn't. And it's like a muted peachy color. And it's, right. it's very warm feeling. But I don't know how much you can trust the guy who might be wrong on the chamois pronunciation. Yeah, seeing you ate sprinkles. <laughs> that's right. Can you trust this guy? Uh huh. But these do look like, I looked them up when we get home, and they look like they're going for about $20. So, yay, chamois. 
Uh, that should be fairly a, a pretty warm shirt, right? That's, that's what I would think. Yeah. This is a well-known designer. Um, Jenny McCarthy wears her line. This is Joy Han Vroom. V-O-O-M. That would be Voom. Voom. There's no R. No R. You're thinking Voom. like a motor. Vroom. Like that. Size large. So help, help me hold that up there. Okay. So your arms come out of about here. Hold up the part where your arms are. <laughs> okay. Out of. And then lift it up. Lift it up like this? Yep. And oh. that's how it fits. It's kind of just one of those capes that just fit everything. You, you can, can see my confusion. Over. Yeah. This is your head. Uh, right. So you're just yes. wearing it to cover everything up. Yep. And it's silk. And it looks like it's in really good condition. This is Ralph Lauren, size extra small. Do you like this cotton? Well, I, I like the color. It reminds me of Plum Crazy, which is a Mopar color. Yeah. How about the cotton? I don't, I'm not fond of the cotton, though. No. And they've, they've cut out the Ralph Lauren. Hmm. But if we just go to the side seam here. Why would they cut that out? They also cut it out from the side seam. But the market, if you go a little bit up, it, it says made for Ralph Lauren Europe sale. Okay, it's but who would, who, who would benefit from that being cut Sometimes out? Sometimes stores have to cut it up oh. if, okay. if it's being sold to like another That's part distributor. of the deal of them That's, getting it. Yep. Okay. So this isn't going to bring a whole lot. I probably can't even send it to thread up, but it was such a nice piece. Like that cotton is just so pristine that I thought for a couple dollars I'd try it. This is another one of those. Nope, never mind. Take that back. Size red. Thank you. Yes, you just you're need a, to tell me what you want. You're a good help. Thanks. Okay. Focus casual life size medium. Has a seersucker kind of thing happening. Yes, it does. You could take down the sleeves a little bit, roll up the sleeves a little bit, mm -hmm. buttons down the front, chest the point pocket. is you got choices. Yeah. <laughs> Be a good red, white, and blue shirt for your patriotic holidays. I found this. It reminded me of stained glass. Yes. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. It is a true wrap, and it's a size large. It is, sorry, I keep taking away from you. It is um, not the best material, I'd say. No. It's polyester. So we'd probably dip pretty low. You might want to tack that. But you get the idea of what, what's going for here, right? Well, you just look adorable, first of all. But I just couldn't leave it behind because the print was so cute. Okay, a few more things. This is my first pair of aloe, A-L-O, yoga leggings. I've never found one of these before. Wow, they're heavy material, right? They really are, and they have the aloe. Uh, I mean, you want to sweat in yoga, sweater. I guess? I, yeah. Some hot yoga yeah. sweat, yeah. Yes. Um, size medium. I'll try them on first. <laughs> Not that I do. Well, I have been doing a little bit of yoga. Yes, you've been using your ball very well. Your Thanks. Your roller. No, yes. Black and white in. Navy and white polka dots in. This has a little bit of a black leather. It's navy and white with black leather trim. It is brand new, but there's no tags. Where Where is this trend coming back from? When, you know, so. um, I think I was reading Marie Claire tonight in the bathroom, and that was one of the um, page 179, I think it was on. Okay, what does that tell me? <laughs> Was that, uh, that polka dots cool? are back in. No, polka dots are back in, but we're, I mean, when were they first, you know what I mean, like brought in, like, was that popular in the 90s? Now they're coming back again. Yeah, definitely the 90s. That's what probably I Probably the 40s, 50s. Okay, because, you know, same I mean, cycle. Cycle, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that was the last item. 
except for one, but I'm going to put all of this stuff away and come back for that one. We have one more item, but before that item, I'm going to read a card that came through from Australia. Oh, very nice. So it says, thanks, Melissa. This is from Lynn. Love all the little stickers, Lynn. Do we know how Australia is doing as far as the, they were having quite a tragedy? I don't know what part she's in. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. You are a star. Ooh, feel the paper. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what it is I'm feeling, honestly. How glossy it oh, is. Oh, okay. How like smooth it is. high gloss on it. <laughs> I thought it was like in texture. Dear Melissa, I would like to wish you a very happy 40th birthday. I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you for all the fabulous videos. I get so much enjoyment from them. And you have taught me a lot, even though there are differences between our countries. Beautiful handwriting. Yes, I was going to mention that. I knew you would. Yeah. You will see me as Willow Girl when I comment. Thanks so much, Lynn in Australia. Love, Lynn. This must be her business card. Thank you, Aussie Vintage Shop. Come back and visit soon. That's her business card. I'll show that up close. Very sweet. Very well done. Yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Very fun that we're actually reaching someone in Australia, right? I know. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. You're probably sleeping. <laughs> Hopefully you're sleeping. The last item I bought, Bear doesn't even know about. I was going to say, what is the big buildup, man? <laughs> so you're supposed to put your head okay. up there. Okay. Let's let's unmic you. You're actually gonna maybe do this? Oh yeah. Okay. Is this like is something worth money or something? No. Oh, oh it's not. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Why do we get this? For fun. Okay, so put my head in here. Uh-huh. And then what? Scoop back. Okay. Okay. Um, so keep going. I, by keep going, I don't look at it. It's very loud in right here. Okay. Okay. Now put your arms through. I don't know if it's up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm just going to put it back to you. Hold on. My hand is going to you. Okay. We're going to take it out. Take everything out, okay? Uh, I can't really do anything. Is it pumping up? Yep. Take it just say goodbye. Okay. Point me in the right direction. Okay. Well, we're uh, not in focus now because we're standing. So we go adjust the camera. Oh, okay. Will they see us? Yes. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. We hope your day is blooming with joy.